Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. Alright, let's jump into the After Effects. Settings will be the same as usual. Let's bring our logo into the composition. First pre-compass the logo, name it whatever you want. But make sure to check move all attributes. Now go to the layer menu and auto trace it. Now apply Saber effect on it. It's a free plugin from Video Copilot. Change the preset to Arc Reactor and also change the core type to the layer mask. Now open core distortion and decrease the amount a little bit. Go to render settings and change the composite settings to transparent so you can use anything for the background. Alright, first set the end offset value to 0, then add a keyframe here. Then go forward to a few frames and change the value to 100. Now add a keyframe here on the start offset, then go forward to few frames and change the value to 100. By doing this, the effect will disappear after that time. Now in case if you want to use one saber effect, then we can animate this from here. But in my case, I'm gonna use two saber effect here. So let's change both end keyframe value to 50. For another half, we are going to use another saber effect. Select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this. Change the color to a different color. Then just change the value of the mask evolution. By doing this it will animate from a different vertex. Now we just need to adjust the value of mask evolution so it completes the logo. For doing these, you need to avoid these keyframes. Let's avoid these keyframes for a moment so we can see the effect properly. Now adjust the value so it completes the logo. Like this. Now move these keyframes to its previous position again. It looks good to me. Let's reveal the logo. For doing this, duplicate one logo layer. And just delete the saber effect. Apply the fill effect so you can change the color anytime. Then search for Venetian blinds and apply it to the layer. Now drag the logo layer where our effect almost ends. First, change the transition completion value to 100, then add a keyframe on it, then go forward to a few frames and change its value to 0. You can change the direction from here. Also you can change the stroke width from here. Alright, now select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor and change the graph something like this. Do the same for all keyframes. Nice, we are done with this part. Now select all the layers and pre-compass them.
Now search for CC Scale Wipe effect and apply it on the layer. You can also find these effects here, I'm using these plugin for a fast workflow. Now set the direct value to zero and increase the amount so high, like this. Now we are going to animate this center point. First, move the center point here, then add a keyframe. Then go forward to a few frames and drag the center point here. Looks great to me. For more detailing, you can add the turbulent displace effect. Apply it to the layer. First increase the amount to a high value. Now add a keyframe on size, then go forward to a few frames and change the size value to zero. It looks so weird. Adjust the amount value so it looks natural. Now it's perfect. So that's all I want to show you. You can use the same technique in the text as well. Try to play with the settings and make it more beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.